The resin is here. You guys voted for it, and here it is. Instead of the super awesome Arnold Schwarzenegger and Terminator armor, being the Terminator. But you guys decided on this super cool Risen Dark Angel. And let me just say, it turned out freaking awesome. I shall teach you the secrets of the inner circle and how to defeat the fallen. Let's get started. Step one, we want to paint all the armor in Abaddon black. Step two, we're gonna paint the entire cloak in corn red. Now for those hard to reach areas behind the legs and on the cloak, I just kind of push my brush firmly against it until it's completely flat. And then I just spin the brush around and try to get into those hard to reach areas. Step three, we're gonna use a gold and we're gonna paint the knees as well as that trim that's on those little shin areas and on the shoulder. And we're also gonna wanna paint that gorget on the chest and then the little spiky top on the back. Step four, we're gonna use Iron Warriors to paint all the little metal areas. Step five, we're gonna wash the model in Agrax Earthshade. It's not necessary to do the armor because it's an Abaddon black, but it doesn't matter if you do. And then after that, it's on wood to highlights. Once it's all dried up, we want to create that green hue. We're going to go grab some Caliban green and we're going to want to use a slightly larger brush because it would be easier to blend. We're going to dry brush it first on a paper towel and we want to focus on the edges and stay away from those areas with the little crease areas like on the knee or below the gorget. And we're just gonna wanna stipple it or tap it in those areas. We are then going to move to a smaller brush for those hard to reach areas.
We're gonna use Son of Horse for highlights and light scratches. We wanna focus on the edges. So you're gonna to wanna to use either the end of your brush and just kinda of tap it in to get some of those edges. Or you could just try to use the little tip and be like, tip, 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 and hit those edges as well. Now for the scratches, you're gonna to want to slightly water down the Sons of Horse paint until it's almost like an ink-like substance. This will make it easier to glide on the mini. And then you're just gonna to wanna to do light little scratches throughout. I like the most battle damage to be along the feet, kind of shin area, as well as the hands and the elbows. We're going to use Iron Breaker or a Bright Silver and we're going to want to paint all of those little metal areas for those jet stabilizers. I just like to tap it in, not complete, that way it kind of gives this weathered look. And for the solar panels, I just use the end of my brush to hit all of those little edges. Now using the same silver, we're going to want to add little scratches or little chips in the armor. I mostly did this along the feet, kind of shin area and on the wrist and hands. And if you wanted to add deeper scratches, just add a little bit in the middle of the scratch. For highlights on the cloak, we're gonna start with corn red, and we're just gonna to wanna to go over the larger general areas of highlights and staying away from those little crease areas. For even brighter highlights on the cloak, we're gonna use Menfeastin Red. And we're just gonna wanna kind of put it over the areas that we already highlighted, just in a smaller, more concentrated area. And then we're gonna wanna switch over to a smaller brush with a little more paint on it to hit some of those harder edges, like along the top of the head and where the cloak starts on the chest. Now for decoration on the cloak, we want to water down a white until it's like an ink-like substance. That way it's easier to glide with your paintbrush on the mini. We're gonna do our absolute best to add a line on the very bottom of the cloak as well on the head. And then for those little triangles, we're gonna make our best. I like to focus on one side, move it down, and then I fill it in. And I just kinda eyeballed the length from distance to distance. Now, if you made some mistakes or you just wanna make it look better, we're gonna use corn red and we're gonna just use that to fix the mistakes. And then we're gonna wash it back with Agrax Earthshade so it still kinda of has that grim dark look. Mm -hmm. 
Now I wanted even brighter highlights on the cloak. So we're gonna mix Evil Sun Scarlet with Lemian Medium. I just did this in equal parts and I just focused mostly on the shoulders, those little edges, little sharp edges on the robes, as well as very few little selected areas on the back of the robe as well. What are you still doing here? If you're here this long, go subscribe or watch my next video. And if you want even more content, check out my gaming channel at Nuka Kitten Gaming. Bye.